It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to the last day. Can you believe it? The final day. Of the 25 most notable bourbons and American Rise of 2021. Thank you all so much for tagging along on this series with us. I know there's only one thing in here, but I can't remember what it I is. I also <laughs> cannot remember. <laughs> Let us know. It doesn't feel like there's anything in here. Oh wait, there it is. I'll know it once you say it. <laughs> On our final day, we'll be having Sazerac Rye 18. Well, ho, ho, how. It's day 25. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. We just hope you are having a great day out there. Whenever, and a great pour. And a great hopefully. pour, whenever you're watching this. Um, but this is day 25, it's our last day of this great series. I've had a whole lot of fun, how about you, Sarah? Oh yeah, a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of bourbons. A whole lot of bourbons going, a whole lot of bourbons going. On. Definitely earning that dry month next month. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. And I bet a lot of you out there are too. This is Sazerac Rye, 18 year. Uh, it's 90 proof. It is our lowest, yeah. Well, one of the lowest, if not the lowest. Mm -hmm. I think it is the lowest. I think it is the lowest, yes. And this is, besides the two ounces that are in our blind best of the year contention, this all that is remains. All That Remains, which is the name of a band. All That Remains. All That Remains. <laughs> it's oh, not every day you get to have Beethoven this. there, that's right. Oh, come on, Sarah. <laughs> we'll just that's leave, a call Leave back. that to them, mm -hmm. leave it to them. And that's all, no more. Let's leave it in 2021. <laughs> Leave it all on the table, everybody. Thank you. We That's have our say. crystal glasses to celebrate. Yes, you can see our cut crystal Glencairns, which recently just sold out again, our second batch. We shall have more in the new but year. But we will have more in 2022, don't you, don't you worry. worry. Mm. Now that's See, a rye. It's a 90 proof, but that's man. a rye, man. It noses <laughs> higher proof. I mean, for me, proof is not as important when it comes to rye. Not that it's not as important, but I feel like a 90 proof rye can drink. It's more about like the richness and the flavor for me. And for rye, it's like you can add more water and still keep that, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. Man, on the nose, this is like floral and spicy and minty and Ooh, herbal. It's just, yeah, like a really comforting cup of tea or something. The best cup of tea of your you, life. Of your whole life, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone gave me this as a cup of tea and be like, all right, I love tea. And it also has this like nostalgic smell. It smells like Christmas. It does. It smells like the holidays, yeah. yeah. Like, I wish I could make this a candle. And if you drink too much, you'll be in a holidays. You know what right. I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just saying. You just, won't be drinking too much of this. They just come to me, folks. All right. Well, no. All right. To your health. Now, a departure from our last couple of days when we had two barrel-proof bourbons. For sure. Or whis whiskeys. One was a finished whiskey and the other one was a uh, bourbon. No, they are both bourbons. No, the Fourgate is... Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskeys Blended and Finished. Finished. Which may, this is a great debate. I know. Let's not get in. That's not what this video is about. But it has been finished in other barrels. Ergo, the flavor finished, has been imparted the finished and therefore it product is, is not a bourbon anymore. It, it contains started out as a bourbon. What was bourbon? We said has we now weren't going to get into it, but so now we're, we're not, into it. Now we're into it. All right. But, well, let's, let's leave this for 2022. Yeah. Uh, this is a departure. Oh, for sure, with the lower proof. But mm -hmm. I feel like it's still, again, while the finish may not be as long and like the presence, you know, it doesn't have like that bold presence of a higher proof whiskey, it does bring the flavor. Right. You know, with yeah. the rye, mm -hmm. like, and the age. Yeah. 18 year old rye is <laughs> just a different ballpark mm. from what I think a lot of us are used to with our. Our Pikesville, Pikesville and uh, Russell's Reserve and um, your new Riff Rye or whatever. It's a different ball game. Yeah. And I love this ball game. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I do. I, I'm getting a lot of like the herbal tea notes that we were talking about on the nose and honey and floral and it's very kind of outdoorsy. Yeah. But also cozy inside holiday. Mold spices type right. of notes. Yeah, totally. There's a little bit of a cocktail feel in there. And a little bit of like evergreen tree. And mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on, but I think I like this so much. And I'm going to go ahead and answer the question a bit early for me. But sure. I think the reason that I gravitate towards this and why it might be on the list for me is that it feels very nostalgic. Like the way the flavors come together and the balance of it all, it just takes me somewhere. And I think that's my favorite, one of my favorite experiences with whiskey is sure. like when you just, you feel, I don't know, it makes it gives you the warm and fuzzies. Mm -hmm. Now you could be saying like, I would have 
pegged you guys for picking the Thomas H. Handy, the Sazerac Thomas H. Handy rye because it's barrel proof. Mm. You know, it's not 18 years, but it is barrel proof. Um, and you know, if you watched our video where we did all of the four for this year, BTAX, it was, it was too much. It really was. It was just a little too for us. much for us. So of course the WLW went in because it was exceptional as at, per usual. And this one went in, which was a little bit of a surprise to us, mm. granted. We've not, we've not had this proof. before. We, haven't, we had not advanced a Saz 18 into the best of before, but this was the year that it just really hit right. This makes me happy. And I don't know that I can describe it any other way than like, it feels comforting. It makes me smile. I don't know. There's it's nothing it's about this that makes you feel, oh, but only if it were higher proof. Or, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's like, it just makes me feel like I want to, we already have the tree up, but like I want to go put up the tree, right? It gives me <laughs> right. vibes of like, yeah. we should be together. Mm -hmm. I don't know, doing something festive. Well, we are wearing Christmas we are together sweaters and, and we are and doing something hats. festive. So, so. yeah, this is. No, it's nice. And what else is pleasant? You know what else is pleasant, Sarah? I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad that you asked. What else is pleasant is whiskeyambitions.com. You know that's our home on the internet. For our Glen Cairns, these will be back in stock in 2022, don't you worry. But Listen. our regular Glen Cairns, our Copitas, rocks glasses, and uh, water glasses. We also have challenge coins and pins, t shirts that aren't these sweaters. We that's also have hats that aren't these hats, uh, <laughs> hoodies, zip hoodies, and more. Always coming soon. Look out in 2022 for a lot more coming soon. A lot more. At whiskeyambitions.com. And if they didn't know after 25 days, were they ever going to know? No. I'll tell you what else you probably already know is that you can become a patron at <laughs> patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. slash it's patreon. One day I'll remember how to say it. It's patreon.com. Um, and that's where you can get our barrel picks. A very exciting things coming in 2022. Um, we still have a few left from 2021. So if you become a patron now, we can probably fi figure very, that out for very you. Very small. Um, yes. And then that's where we also do our Patreon only content like another round with Chad and Sarah and so much more. There you go. Sarah, have we not said anything about or is there anything else to say about why this is on mm. the list? You know, I don't know that I have anything else to say. I guess I was a bit surprised that this made it on just because when it comes to the BTAC lineup, I feel like I don't hear this one mentioned as much and I'm happy to have found a year where I really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I, and in a way, the silver lining of George T. Stagg, not not saying that it would have been a shoe in but it normally is a shoe in but the silver lining of it not coming out this year was that. We paid more attention. I paid more attention to this, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'm glad that I did, because it makes me very happy. I just want to keep- And I'll never own a bottle. <laughs> and that's okay. That's all right. I'm yeah. not complaining. We've I never, We've this. never had a Saz 18 or an Eagle Rare um, 17. It's okay. We got the media samples. That's, no complaints. That's fine, and we've been able to get the other three in actual bottle form, which is which is very cool. Um, but the, the nose, I just- I almost don't want to finish it because I want to keep smelling this nose. This nose is fantastic. Maybe, without it being blind, maybe the best maybe nose of the 25. It is definitely the most fun to like it's sit fun. and smell. It's like fun. this is one where, I don't know if you guys ever do this, but once you drink something and you leave your glass out overnight and you come back in the morning and you smell the empty glass. I'm almost, in a Rick house. It's almost like you get more <laughs> off of the empty glass yeah, smell uh -huh, uh -huh. than you did when it was actually in the glass. And For sure. this is one like I want to do that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a treat. It I'm, a treat. I'm happy about it. It is, it is a treat. You know what else has been a treat? Is doing this series with, with you, Sarah. Thanks. And with you, people who live inside our camera. Yeah. Um, these past 25 days and this entire 365 of 2021. You know, thanks for hanging in there, everybody. It was a big year. We celebrated our five-year channel anniversary. We did, we did. Can't yeah. believe it. It's been, uh, been a big milestone and we're only we're only going up from here. It's we hope on. So. Infinity and beyond, I think a wise man once Somebody said, said that, that once. That. Yeah. I don't know who. Hmm. I think Some he was philosopher an, he was an or astronaut. Ah, oh, that's what it was. Neil Armstrong. Okay. Or Tim Allen. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> this has been great. Um, we really appreciate you guys sticking with us. And if you haven't subscribed to us already. And you've watched these 25 days, you're a patient soul. <laughs> you should just hit the, come on. I think, we, I think we've earned it. Right up here, I'm pointing at it. Click here to subscribe. There's suggestions of other videos, ton of other videos right down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Merry Christmas, Sarah. Merry Christmas, Chad. Okay, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone there. We'll see you when we see you. Until then, drink more bourbon.